Moses joining me now for our first look at sports and the Lakeland women's volleyball team is off to Red Deer for the conference championship. And the squad has definitely endured a lot of hardships up and downs throughout the year. Of course that continues the battle with the injuries and they hope that the depth and chemistry will at least overpower them and rise them to the occasion. Josh Ryan reports. After the grind of the regular season, the conference championship is here for the Rustlers women's volleyball team. After a disappointing exit in the quarterfinals last year, the squad is ready and eager to begin their playoff run at Red Deer College. At the end of the day, you need to have some experience and you need, you need to have went through it previously and, and, and failed. Now they can look back on those experiences, I think, and hopefully when we go into our match on Thursday, they can look back on what, what they've done previously and that should allow them to, to be strong mentally. I think the girls are ready and we're uh, pretty amped up, so I think whatever time we're given, we're going to be able to show up and play. It's a familiar venue for veterans Laura Popplestone and Michelle Lang. They were both a part of the Rustler squad that won ACAC Silver in that gym, as well as CCAA Silver at home. I'm excited to go back to the gym because we, we had a good turnout last, or the three years ago that it was. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just ready to go and get there and take care of business. The Rustler's first round opponent is the Sait Trojans, backed by the ACAC Kills leader Megan Brennan. However, the squad is confident about the matchup. One player can't win the, win the game for them, so if we shut her down, if we contain her, she's going to get her kills, but um, I think if we do our job, then we'll have the advantage in the end. For us, it's about trying to contain her, and then uh, if we can't, can we make her make some choices that might allow us to be able to, uh, to, to transition the ball. Lakeland could be without right side Hannah Prokop, who injured her ankle on Monday. However, Dyer is confident in backup Avery Maginal. Okay, we have the pieces. Ava's has proved that she can play at a high level, okay, and so you guys need to have as much confidence in her as I do. And it's safe to say the squad shares that confidence. Is anybody worried about our chances to be able to beat this team? No. <laughs> Is anybody worried that if we don't have Hannah, we're in big trouble? No offense. But no. <laughs> Josh Ryan, New Cap Sports. Turning our attention to hockey now, it's playoff time for the Bantam Pipeline Bobcats. The squad is coming off a bye week after recording the best record in the AMHL. And they're, of course, preparing for their best of five series starting tonight with the Leduc Oil Kings. These two teams split the season series with each team winning at home. The Oil Kings beat CAC in three games in their previous playoff round. While the Bobcats will have a full roster, that also includes Ty Smith, who returns from the Youth Olympics in Lillehammer. Puck drop for this contest is at 7 o'clock. And some good news for forward Jordan Boasuk of the Heat, the Bantam AAA foremost Heat, as he was named AAA Rookie of the Year for the North Division. The center led the Heat with 27 goals and 42 points in 35 games this season. Also in action, the PWM Midget AAA Female Steelers are in Edmonton to take on the Thunder. 